Hey Tell YouTubers, it's me Kenneth Bear and I'm here in beautiful Park Slope, Brooklyn here with episode 7 of Hedonist Confidential and I'm going to give a shameless plug to Magic Hat Bear right there. Good old circus boy there, Hepa Wisen. It's kind of taking a little break from unpacking and cutting up boxes. Mm. Thank you, Magic Hat. Uh, mm. Well, let's see. Heading off to London real soon, so... I'm going to try and make it lush bubbles. I'm definitely going to try and make it by ne be never too busy to be beautiful. And for Drive Into the Damned, Paul and Shannon, of course. Nothing would tickle me more than to go to Piccadilly Circus. As you know, that is a great movie. and It really brings something out in me. Oh, shit. Anyway. Down. Down. Sick it, Bruno. Anyway, whoo, must be getting near the moon. Irregardless, here's what's really got me, got up my nose this week. And I think it's been brought about by how much I love my pet and how much I see our, our neighbors and how much they love their pets. And yes, it's the buzz. It's that video that's going all around on the internet and all over YouTube of the Marines throwing the puppy into the valley in Iraq. Tasteless, yes. Cruel, undoubtedly. Something a dumb animal doesn't deserve, goddamn right. Irregardless, if it's a prank, that's a hateful prank. That's rude. That's, that's like bacon grease on the stairs at the, at the home for crippled kids. No, it, it doesn't fly. At least with humans, you know, they kind of ask for it. A lot of a lot of humans out there are deserving of it because they don't, they just don't give a shit what goes on about anything but themselves. They're like, oh, I care. Yeah, you care about covering your own ass. You don't stop to think about somebody a little a little less off than you. A little, somebody just a little more in need or somebody a little more worthy and deserving of some kindness instead of cruelty and apathy. That you think something or something or someone is just there for your entertainment? No. No, they're not. And you know what? I think animals have got just as much right to souls as humans do. If nothing else, more so. Because they don't, you know... They don't do a lot of things that humans do. And that humans think make them better than animals. I've never known of an animal to kill another animal on the basis of faith or because of their... I've never known an, a, animals to terrorize other animals because of the color of their skin or uh, their sexual identity. If this is a prank, it's a piss poor prank. Don't do that. If it's real, my father was a Marine and he would be sickened and disgusted by what the Marines are doing over there. I've heard people say, oh, well, a dog and a rat, are one step above a rat. Does that make them less? You know, I've had, I've had pet rats, and I think, I think they were far above 90% of the people I've met. And a great line that I read somewhere that says, you can judge what a people are like as a nation toward other people by how they treat animals. That sums it up right there. That, and if this is real, and this guy has done this to an animal, he gets back home, all you folks out there, and I'm not saying it's my viewers, because my viewers are a smart bunch, they wouldn't fall for this crap. But all the people who voted him in and said, "Oh, let's go to war. Oh, let's do it. Oh no, we've got to have we've got to have oil and we've got to have freedom. You know, freedom, freedom, freedom. All right, you freedom monkeys. When he comes back home and he's got a cruel streak and he can't get it out, and he turns into another one of those fresh back from the war peacetime killers whose friend in the foxhole is his gun, 
and he starts thinking that no human being is ever going to measure up to that gun, and he goes on a tear, and he kills a few people before he takes himself out, go look in the mirror and complain to that reflection, because really it's the only one that you need to sweat. Because you didn't stop and think about anybody but yourself, and this is how you pay back. We need to start working to make sure that there is no person out there left behind. We need to start realizing that every one of these people out here that you see, an old woman, a little tiny child, a homeless person, an AIDS patient, a cancer patient, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, male, female, American Indian, it doesn't matter. We really are in the same boat. And we really need to start cleaning our act up and cleaning up, cleaning up the planet. Because you know what? It's not like a campfire. You can't screw it up, burn it down, piss on the remains, and go look for another one. And sadly, we're doing it. So, stop and think. Use this up here. It's, all, it's cool to to be a real epicure and get out there and enjoy life because that's what I do and I try like hell to get you people to do it too but you can't tear down the playground all on your own and then oh boo hoo boo hoo oh, oh what happened who will take care of me you know who takes care of you at the end of the day you so quit your pissing and moaning ain't that right buddy mm. quit your pissing and moaning and do something about it there are volunteer organizations. You don't even have to join an organization. Do something yourself. Case in point, I carry, when every time I go out to get on the subway, I take a peanut butter sandwich. Why is that? Peanut butter sandwich, that's kind of cheap. A couple of slices of white bread and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Put a little jelly in it if I'm feeling sporty. Wrap it up. Because... I will run into the odd homeless person who want who they'll and they'll say doggy bags, food scraps, anything. Why why give him a doggy bag or just scraps? There, a peanut butter sandwich. It ain't a lot to me. Probably ain't a lot to you. Oh, it's a fucking world to them because it's a meal. It's something that they may not get today. So here's my challenge to all the viewers of Hedonist Confidential. This week, I want you to start doing something. I want you to start giving a damn. I'm not saying you don't. Let's be proactive about it. And if you've been watching me from the first episode, or you're just tuning in now, as I said, it's important. Get in there and try, and just do your damnedest. And really, show, by your actions, not by words, by deeds, that you give a damn. Because some people out there couldn't give a shit. Excuse me. If they bit their lip and grunted. So here's your chance to care. Get out there. Get in the trenches. Do, do everything that you can. And if it's just, you know, making a sandwich and giving it to a homeless person, that's cool. If you give a couple hours to something like Greenpeace or Amnesty International, your local animal shelter, that's great too. Case in point, I'm looking at volunteering with the uh, Park Slope Parrot Rescue. There's, it's not really a rescue, but there's a flock of wild monk parakeets here in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And I love... Boy, your ears perked up about a bird. No, I'm not bringing any home, silly. Um, but it's something to do. And it's something that helps. And it's something that ensures that someone or something might otherwise be forgotten and is remembered. But anyway, much love to my viewers. Keep, keep draining that chalice dry. And corn and peanuts to all you simple-ass haters. And enjoy and comment and rate. And we'll see you at episode 18. See you at episode 18.